Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you a live demonstration of how to draw up insulin and administer subcutaneously. However, before we get into the good stuff, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Tina, nurse practitioner. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell. Let's get started. So it all starts off with a blood sugar that is elevated. You are going to follow your standard protocol guidelines. You will have a sliding scale. So let's say the blood sugar was 141. So the patient needs about three units of insulin. You're gonna gather your supplies, do your hand hygiene, and check all your medication rights. So you have your insulin syringe, your pair of gloves, the right insulin for administration, which is regular insulin in this scenario, and then you have your alcohol prep. So you're going to, after you've washed your hands, you're gonna put on your gloves. You're going to flip the cap of the insulin to off. You're gonna clean the top of the vial. And so since you'll be giving three units, so that'll air dry, don't blow on it, don't wave your hand over it, you're gonna take off the needle you're going to bring the plunger down to where it says, so there's 10 units here. This is five, four, three. So that's the amount of air that you're gonna inject into the insulin. I'm going to put the needle down and I'm going to hold the insulin vial. I'm going to inject like a bullseye into the center and I'm going to put the needle inside and push the plunger down. I am then going to invert the vial upside down and this is where I'm going to withdraw the three units. So this is one, two, three. So that is three units. What I will do is physically go and show a second nurse. I will say this is for Mr. John Smith. His blood sugar was 141. According to the sliding scale, I'm giving him three units of insulin. She will physically look at it, look at the actual insulin that I'm drawing up, and she will say, yes, that's three units. She will then go, then I can withdraw this, and I can go to the patient to administer this subcutaneously. I will prepare the skin. You can do the tummy as a site or the back of the arms. Um, depending on the patient preference. And if they may have surgical wounds on their tummy, then I you know, really refer to their arms as my primary choice. And you are all set. You wanna make sure that you've documented everything, that you've scanned the right medication, and that you are um, safely administering the medication. Don't forget to check out one of my other videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.